Hi, Mary here from Change is Always Possible with some more food for thought, <laughs> more of the questions and queries that go around in my mind. Um, so this one is to do with the numbers of deaths with COVID in Scotland. Um, so the latest weekly uh, death statistics tell us that between the 1st of March 2020 and the 31st of January 2021, um, in the age group under 65, we had 876 deaths with COVID. 876. So to put that in context, that same age group, um, the under 65, so that's the whole working population of Scotland, it's the whole student population, it's the whole school children population and all young children and babies, um, amounts to around about, according to government stats, 4.4 million people. So let's say that again. Um, there have been 876 deaths with COVID in a population of 4.4 million um, so another way that we can think about that is, I'll just get my little bit of paper where I wrote it down. 1% of 4.4 million is 44,000. So half a percent is 22,000. A quarter of a percent is 11,000. So you can see that 876 is massively less than even a quarter of 1% of the actual population. And in actual fact, if you work it out, 876 is two hundredths, can't even say that, of 1%, i.e. a tiny, 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 tiny fraction. Um, it works out at 1 in 5,000 people have died with COVID in the under 65 population in Scotland. Um, so that does make me wonder why we had to close down everything. I know that we needed to protect the elderly and the vulnerable. That is, That goes without saying, it's without a shadow of a doubt, they needed to be protected if they wanted to be. Um, but we closed down our whole economy, people's lives and livelihoods have been destroyed. We've got massive mental health issues. Goodness knows how many people will die as a result of um, delayed operations and delayed treatments, delayed investigations and mental health issues and also um, the impact in the economy because we know when the economy um, dips and dives they, we have an increased uh, death rate. Um, I'm sure we can guess why. Um, you know, because the stress of all these things affects people's health. So I just find that a very, very fascinating piece of information. It makes me actually feel really, really sad because I'm not sure how many people know that and therefore are um, feeling maybe frightened, uh, desperate, who knows what, because they feel that they're really at risk and I would like to suggest that you're probably not at risk. Um, I don't feel at risk um, knowing that I'm in that um, age group. Anyway, that was a little bit of food for thought.